like me there, you would be. Well, I think that time of year I'd be my Horse Tractor Herb update for 2020. I do this video every single year and have for about the last five or six. I always wanted to show how my uh, toy clock shots expanded or in some years it's been a little smaller because I sold some stuff. But I do this video every single year around the 14th of February. So I figured this would be a good time to do it because I haven't put any videos up in the last couple weeks just because I've been a busy guy doing a lot of haulage and whatnot with the trailer. So, uh, you know what they say, if you want friends, go buy a trailer. <laughs> Anyway, as you guys may notice, we are out in the carport right now because uh, I wanted to include the antique tractors in this video because, well, technically they are toys, at least for me anyway. I don't really do a whole lot with them, but they're just one-to-one -one scale. Well, I know most of you guys know what's back here. This is my 1951 Laconic Jane W4 I'm doing a little bit of work on, doing a little respray and some cleaning up and whatnot. A little bit frosty out here, can you guys tell? I am mean, going to stick a set of tires on it here eventually. I was looking at some BKT tires, the 14926, they're around 350 bucks a tire. But the Firestone, like there's on the other side, is a Firestone Field and Road Traction tire there on the other side. That's a $600 tire to replace, so that's going to be in the future here. My 1937 Cockshot Heart Power Tractor, which was my great-grandfather's brand new. Now, I've got a developing story with this tractor to add to the history. And you guys are in the International Cockshot Club may recognize this tractor on the cover of your next magazine but i'll have more on that in a few months when the magazine comes out uh, you know you guys might be surprised my 1971 oliver 145 lawn tractor me and my grandfather started back around 1997. so in the actual toy horror room here now we're gonna start with my ut fan mail shelf here all the stuff on the top shelf of this cabinet here has all come from you guys my YouTube fans have sent me a couple of things here and there over the years. And uh, I always say, if you want to send something into the greatest farm toy collection on YouTube, being this shop, you have uh, this little collection that my YouTube fans have started. If you want to send something into that uh, collection there and have a feature in a video, because you always see this anytime I make a video in here, there's a PO, a box address in the description down below if you're interested in it. A couple of brochures they had in the shelf. These are original, of course, Oliver 99, ADN 99, and you guys know me well enough. Those are my two favorite tractors ever produced. Ah, just some parts stuff down there. Got an Oliver Super 99 down there. Got to find an actual for us. It. a NB and K Oliver Super 99. Picked that up from a friend there last year. Need to find an axle for it, though. Uh, over in the old IH shelf over here. Uh, model kit's still up there that I found a couple years ago. A little W4 kit that I got from Jolly's Farm Toys. The, I had that on the frame of the big W4 when I was painting the engine in the frame and whatnot, and kind of showing stuff off. Oh yeah, this came in the mail the other night. This is a original sales brochure for the W4, W6, WD6. This is the early version actually, so I think that came out about 1941. I was gonna do an unboxing video, but uh, I'm waiting for a few other things to come in the mail. And I've got some original manuals in the cabinet that I'm going to do a kind of a virtual tour on that somebody wanted to see. So I'm going to do that here soon. I'll include the W4 brochure in that. Uh, the manure spreader, we got a Charlie Sale last year. That's new. Got a couple gaps in there still. Haven't really been buying too many toys lately because, well, I've been doing big tractors. And uh, you guys probably remember I sold some stuff to Nick at Jolly's Farm Toys there a couple years ago and never really replaced anything yet. Up here, I don't think I've added anything up there. My cabinets here, of course, which most of you guys know. I don't think I've added a whole heck of a lot. I apologize for the glare. Maybe I'll shut the blinds here. You guys might be able to see a little better. Here we go. Four-wheel drives, of course. Row crops. Antiques, row crops. Implements in the bottom there. I've got the complete authentic lineup in there. Authentics, Earl Authentics. My case patch fell down. If you guys didn't know that, uh, my grandfather used to work for J.I. Case back in the day. Late 40s, early 50s, used to work for J.I. Case. And of course, they got IH real crap stuff there. Oh, yeah. There's a chrome chase unit, the uh, 620 Steiger back there. I found a couple years ago at Charlie Church in Ennisville. Real crap stuff. Some more case and farm wheel tractors there. This is all 164, of course. My little Peter K steam engine combines, of course. I got John Deere and Case IH pretty well laid out the same way, and that way you can 
and because then you can compare tractors over the years or tractors at the same time or combines implements and of course you got all of her stuff a lot of custom toys on here that i've done they got a old style 88 keep that in mind old style 88 i may have a 116th project here coming up soon if i can find all the stuff to do it we got Agco, we got Cockshot, Minneapolis, Alice Chalmers, Massey. Of course, the uh, 2019 Toy Farmer tractor is in the back corner there. Along with that new D21 I picked up there around Christmas time. Haven't really added anything to this shelf in a couple of years. It's pretty much stayed the same. I'm looking for a couple of big buds. I got the 525.50 there. Uh, uh, sir, e yeah, 525.50. Had to reread that because I couldn't remember what number it was. 525.50, I'm looking for a couple more big bars out of this shelf here, too. Got some trucks down here and whatnot, the DCP Pete, and a couple pickups I built years ago. Got a little New Holland shelf started down here. Now they figure out the New Holland dealer in uh, Sunderland, of course. Of course, it's uh, Bob Mart New Holland sales. Going there from time to time. He's the local dealer. I've been meaning to do a video on how to build a 164 scale farm farm display that's been a video i've been requested to do for many years and i never had a chance to do it yet of course uh my one lonely farmer sticker up there of course i'm a big fan of one lonely farmer an excellent excellent youtube channel i've always mentioned that in my toy room videos here one of my more favorite shelves here is uh oliver and heart car still looking for a teas water oliver 99 and oliver 80 looking to do another 99 my own version of 99 i'm looking to find another one of those 90s if i can ever get one on ebay that's not 200 dollars heart part number three if any of you guys didn't know that waiting for a tractor to come in the mail so i can do an unboxing for you guys oliver 77 row crop sales brochure in the back there toy tractor times oliver 1950 1955 really Cockshot 1855, which was a chase unit to that. I think I got that last year, the year before. And of course, the other green, John Deere. Don't really think I've added anything there last year. Oh, I got the Eldon Trum John Deere 830 there. Of course, the 4450 Elite Precision. I think I'm going to pick up the 4840 Elite. I almost had a 7800 Precision there the other day, but... Went for more money than I thought I was going to pay for it, so. Of course, there's the, uh, that John Deere 95 combine there. I forgot the, who the builder of it was now. I think it might be Cottonwood Acres. I don't remember now. Still looking for parts for that combine. I haven't been very successful in it, but then again, I haven't really been looking too hard. A couple pieces there from that auction score I got a few years ago. I need to get it finished up. 70 to 10, I think was the last project I did on here. And of course, the big John Deere stuff. I'm looking to get into some four-wheel drives and whatnot. Next time I'm at Jolly's, I'm going to try to get, uh, you know, an 8630 or 40 or anything he's got down there. I want to start building a few four-wheel drives, but don't got a whole lot of time to do toy stuff anymore. Of course, you got steel signs up top there. And that's pretty much going to do it. I know I haven't added a whole heck of a lot into the last two or three years, but, uh, you know, been buying the big tractors and trailers and whatnot, so... Uh... I think the focus has kind of shifted here a little bit, but if I do buy any new toys, of course, you guys will see that, and I'll do an unboxing video, because, of course, that's how I started on YouTube with the farm toys, and I still get quite a, quite a good number of views on farm toy videos, so you guys still seem to enjoy those as much as the big tractor stuff is, so I think we're going to continue with it, and, uh, well, 2021, I'll have another toy horde video for you guys. So anyway, if you guys like what you see, please comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks for watching.